man, Woody likes to cook a cock. Properly, I'll get it all done. Woodworking is something that I'm good at. And, uh, and we were all, it fell through, I guess, or got delayed because Wings insisted on bringing these felons over to my house. Like, I, I guess he has these friends with felony convictions. But he, <laughs> what the fuck is yeah, this guy? But, right? <laughs> right? And I've got, like, kids sure. and, like, a girl and a boy in grade school at this point, and, and he just wants to bring the felons over. And I'm like, no, no, no. Let, let, let's, how about it's just you? But, like I said, Wings doesn't really leave town, so he didn't want to drive a few hours without, you know, I don't know, some muscle. I'm not sure why he was so insistent. I don't insistent. think the felons should be leaving town. Muscle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he, he just like, But we got to keep this on the down low. They're not technically allowed to leave yeah. South. <laughs> so uh um and yeah the night that like it all went down and he's like i feel like i have to choose between you and thunder you know i want to give him help growing his channel while he attacks your family and i was like fuck it fuck you you can let thunder fix your desk and that's how the desk thing fell through can, yep. can, can i ask you a question just uh, uh <laughs> it sounds really cold-hearted on his part right um it's it doesn't even make sense rationally, really, when you think about it. So he, he's doing this, uh, these kind of shows with you guys. You've, you're, you've got a big sub base. You've got a lot of viewers. This Thunder guy, did he ever do anything for Wings? Like, w Wings is sitting at 200 people watching his fucking streams right now. So where is the people he funded that fucked with you? Are they helping him right now? No. No. Wings so so Wings is a giant retard then, right? I mean, that's socially. kind of the consensus. Yeah. Like... Socially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen his test scores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i just i felt like wings wronged me for a long time and, and we this came we got here from the survival trip right so i think that for kyle the biggest offense wings committed was bailing on the survival trip especially the way he did it attacking lefty for a month on being such a pussy and then turning out to be an equivalent pussy for me that was just the straw that broke the camel's back it was one percent of why i was fed up with wings yeah, so you had a deeper history running with the guy, with the stuff that he'd been doing. Yeah. You don't even yeah. need a history for him to get upset with you. The first time I ever played a game with Wings of Virginia, actually, Kyle and Woody, you were both there. This was like, what, eight years ago now? Where we were this playing is, uh, Modern Warfare 2, yeah, I, and we were playing Domination, and our team was thrashing them. We were up like, the games were played to 200, I'm not sure if you played that game, but it was like 180 to like 40. Or something ridiculous. We were thrashing them. And I was really close to my kill streak. And we had them pinned in the spawn. And I'm like, I'm just going to run in there and shoot a few people, get my score streak, and then get a few kills with it before the end of the game. I get up, run into their spawn, kill a couple people. Someone spawns behind wings, who's in his general tactic, camping behind something like head glitching out and getting pop, 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 you know. And he gets shot from behind. And he starts screaming like, who the fuck ruined the spawn trap? Who the fuck... Who the fuck is Mercadurka? Who the fuck is Mercadurka? <laughs> Just screaming. And at this point, like, I'm like, I, I don't know these guys well enough. Like, I know Kyle and Woody. Like, I feel like they'll back me up. And then, of course, you know, at the time, Wings was the biggest channel of all of us. And so everybody was kind of giving their respects of like, yeah, that was that was Taylor. You shouldn't have done that. And I was like, uh, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean anything by it. He's like, well, you fucked it up. I was on a, I almost had a nuke. I was 22 kill or whatever the fuck he was Taylor's saying. Taylor's like, like 15 at this point. <laughs> oh, I'm, this is like eight years ago, so I'm like 19. Okay, yeah. all right. Like, uh, he, I, I so, it was the most angry I've ever heard anyone in any game for any reason. And we won. <laughs> by a lot. And so, I like, I, I don't know. It was just like an eye-opening thing of like, wow, this guy really gives a fuck. I had a group and then of he, people... he uh, as soon as that happened, removed me from his friends list and, <laughs> and wanted me kicked from the group. Oh, that, that was it, huh? You were thrown out to the wolves for that yep. offense, yeah? Yeah, that was <laughs> it. I, I think I was on his friends list for, what, uh, how long was that game? 20 minutes? <laughs> You're the original <laughs> Gustavo. He gets, he gets really angry. Like, I've noticed in a lot of the compilations, too, uh, when he starts streaming, people to, to mess with him and make him angry will go stream snipe him. So they'll, mm -hmm. they'll watch him, his gameplay, find out where he's spawning, and then just constantly screw with him. And it drives him up a wall. Uh, I, I, you know, maybe I'm not familiar enough with Twitch, but couldn't he delay his stream a little bit so that's not, like, an issue? It seems but, like well, such a We'll see. That would work if he were the type of player who, like, moved around the map and, like, moved from position to position. Very but, static. But he finds one location that's ideal for sitting right here hiding so only his eyes can be seen and there's a good flow of enemies running past that he can pick off one at a, one by one. And so people are just like, oh, I'll chunk a grenade over there. And he's dead. And uh, he's like, fuck, ah! 
fuck? Mm -hmm. And he goes right back to those barrels. And 30 seconds later, another grenade comes out of nowhere and blows him up again. And so, you know, rage quit. Just rage quit. He, he, that, he can rage quit faster than any human being alive. He doesn't oh, get yeah. enough shit for that. He brags about his KD constantly. It dashboards every bad game. And, and if you're not yeah, familiar with, the, with this, um, if you exit the game normally, then that game counts towards your accumulated statistics. If you dashboard, then that game just never happened. And he yeah. does it all the time, which in itself is kind of bad. Like, you wouldn't want a teammate who did that. But... <laughs> he he does it so much that his stats are now fake. He's not a three KD player. You can't dashboard that often and then brag about your KD. So he he's basically yeah. like the the low tier god of uh, first person shooters. Like he he's a guy that if he's even starting to lose a little bit or, or getting a little on tilt, will automatically just jump. Yeah, he he likes to pub stomp basically. Like he's okay. a pub stomper. So he'll go and he's 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 very good at Call of Duty. Not taking that away from me. He's very good. Mm -hmm. But he does. He likes the game the way he likes to play it. Well, yeah, I mean, he may static. be very good at it, but God, he seems to hate it so much. Like I've <laughs> he, never he heard him seem... say a positive thing about it while I've watched these compilations or the stream that I happen to watch. He hated it. Were there any uh, like outlying questions, Jim, that you had about oh, wings? Yeah. Well, I guess I guess the the biggest question to me would be this: if he if he got really big and a lot of people were watching him and he was doing really well and pulling in a good amount of money, I, I can imagine at the time from all the ad revenue and stuff. Did he not have any foresight to, like, you know, build a nest egg to, like, save that away for a rainy day so bad things wouldn't happen five years later? Well, if by nest egg you mean purchase three new trucks. In a year. And it's four. In a year. <laughs> oh, four new trucks. In a year. Well, you know what they say. Don't invest in real estate. Keep it to automobiles. <laughs> they, <laughs> that's a smart They appreciate in value. It's got a Roush <laughs> engine. That's what you don't understand. This F-150 has got a Roush racing engine in it. Hell, it's worth more now than what I paid. Wait, Kyle, you, or Kyle or Woody, both of you know the, the truck story. You want to enlighten Jim a bit on that? He bought two – like, I, Woody and I went and visited him New Year's Eve 2012, 2011, something like that. <clears throat> and we were both blown away by the quality of this man's ride. Really was Once nice. again, we questioned our, our own direction in life, just as we had a couple years prior when he told us he was making $10,000 a month, and neither of us were even close. We were like – I was like, God – I feel like I'm doing well, but goddamn, look at this man's ride. Look at the odometer. Woody and I are both looking at the odometer, the gauges on this thing. They're like yeah. glowing green. The leather seats, the the step, the chrome railings and step bars, the nice wheels and tires. It's immaculate. It smells good. It's beautiful. He bought a new one a couple months later. The first that, no, one wasn't comfy enough. Wasn't comfy enough. Did, wait, did he sell the old one or he just kept it? Traded it in. He kept it <laughs> for a while. From one to one, yeah. yeah. He didn't he, trade it in right away. He, I think, he I believe he kept right it. Away. There was a time when he owned like four vehicles. He had his 2002 Chevrolet, which is what he drives these days. He had like a, I don't remember the years, but let's just call it like a 2011 and a 2012 F-150. Both the, the big ones, you know, like like four doors, leather seats, like lariats, uh, with with you know 5.7 liter engines and and just very nice vehicles. And then like you know he gets a girlfriend. He's like ah. You need a Tahoe, my love. Oh, wait, didn't didn't Tahoe. you guys tell me he, he that's this is even weirder to me then I guess like if he's such a homebody right if he's a guy that doesn't hasn't left his town more than six times likes to stay inside why would he invest so much why would he invest <laughs> oh, so much in out, Kyle. <laughs> because trucks are a status symbol in uh in and not only redneck culture but specifically it seems in his opinion in his neck of the woods. There was a, a time when I believe he was talking about his sister. Is that correct? He was talking about how attractive his sister was. And, and I met the young lady. She's, she's cute. Uh, I, I think, and, and he said, she's good looking. She, she's, she's dating some guy now, though, that's got a Honda Civic. I mean, she could get a man with a, with a Lariat or, yeah. or, or a Chevy 2500 or something. That quality <laughs> this girl. is a four-wheel drive quality girl I got here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she's doing messing around with that Honda Civic boy. She could do much better. <laughs> she's <laughs> at least an all-wheel drive Subaru. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no consideration as to like what this gentleman's personality is like, what his education is like, what his, uh, what his goals prospects, in life are, right, what his right. means are, where he uh, lives. What are you driving? What are you... What kind of wheels you got, bro? 
What's your towing capacity? You got the mud gripping tires? You got flow masters on the back? So Hell the, yeah. The reason you've done he's good driving girl. this decked out F-150 with the Roush engine is that <laughs> that is his status as a human. That's his rank. 